Hi, I'm Lisa Murphy, and this is the new We've Got the Business talk show. I'm here with my very first guest. I would love for her to introduce herself and her business to you. Hi, I'm Crystal, Crystal Sims. My business is Body Buoys, and they're all natural bath bombs, handmade by myself. During this show, we're going to dispel some myths about the bath uh, buoys that she does and tell you about her ingredients, and she's actually going to demonstrate that product for you. Absolutely, that's what I'm going to do. Um, before we go into dispelling myths, though, I kind of wanted to give you a little background story about, um, about my business and how it came to be. So, um, let's say 2016 was a rough year for the economy. I was in the oil and gas industry. Um, I was a buyer. Um, I went through five layoffs with um, the company that I was with and on the layoff six I was hit and so uh, that was in April a year ago 13 months ago to be exact and um, what happened was Christmas rolled around you know I had to make it through my son's birthday and summer and everything right. you know and it was tough but um, so Christmas rolled around and I didn't know what to do for family and friends and I started coming up with some ideas um, that I could do, that I can make myself affordable, and uh, and that's what I did. So I I found a recipe which I'm going to share with you, and you're going to help me make them. I'm excited. And uh, so I gave out jars of bath bombs to all my family and friends. Well, one of my friends' moms, she said, you know what, you should sell this. You know, you, you should figure out how to become a vendor. You should figure out how how to make this work. And and that's exactly what I did. And that's all started again around Christmas. And um, it's been divine. Everything that I've done with this product has been absolutely divine. Meeting you, um, the people that I've met, the shows that I've done, the contacts that I've made, Starting the website, it's it's all been it's all been divine. Okay, before we go to a commercial, I just want to ask you, what is the next thing that we're gonna do for our audience? Okay, so I'm gonna actually give you the recipe. You know, um, I, I'm not afraid of you having the recipe. I'm gonna, uh, you know, just like the other people that are out there making products and and giving services, everything can be Google. Mm -hmm. And I want to share with you the recipe. I want you to know that it's natural. I want you to see the, the love and effort that I put into making bath bombs. And uh, you can try it at home if you like. And we also talked a little bit about the myths, the, the different um, excuses, as you will, that yes. you get from a lot of yes. clients. That yes. My biggest one is I don't have time to take a bath. <laughs> you know, I'm so busy. I actually timed how long it takes to fill a standard bathtub. It takes approximately five minutes to fill a bathtub of warm water. And you shower longer than that. Yes, and the, and the average shower is 10 to 20 minutes. And do you get right in the shower as soon as you turn the water on? No. no. So there you go. You have time to take a bath. Not only do you have time to take a bath, you owe it to yourself you to to relax and 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 just enjoy something luxurious and beneficial for you. Absolutely. So stay tuned. So we've got some really good stuff to show you, some great ingredients to tell you about, and some myths that we're going to bust right here on We Got the Business. It's tax time. Your money, you keep it. Prepare your 2015 personal and business returns with Kenneth O'Dyke, CPAs and fraud examiners. Kenneth has over 20 years experience on tax preparation and will personally examine every return for accuracy and compliance with IRS laws. Is the IRS picking on you? Call Kenneth, CPA and fraud examiner now. Kenneth Dyke defended me against the IRS and reduced my tax liabilities by 75%. Call Kenneth O'Dyke, CPAs and fraud examiners today. Hi, we're back with We've Got the Business TV show. We're still here with Crystal, who does the bath buoys. She's going to show you how we make them. And also, we have a special guest that's going to give you a demonstration on how to use them. Okay, so I'm going to give you the recipe. It's two parts baking soda, one part citric acid, a half a cup of... Epsom salt, 
four ounces of cameline clay. Now let me tell you about cameline clay. It's a cosmetic product. It's in your foundations, your your solid foundations. So in essence, what it is is it's dirt. It's refined dirt. So ladies, when you're putting on that makeup, that base, that foundation, that you know that blush, those packed cosmetic products, those items have cameline clay in them, refined dirt. Um, so we also have uh, cornstarch that's going to soften your water and um, cornstarch um, cream of tartar do you use cream of tartar? Mm -mm. I don't use it either but a lot of people use it in their cookie recipes um, it's, it's just a hardening agent and then the final ingredients are the um, coconut oil which is good for your skin and the shea butter oil all natural ingredients wonderful so let's start um, first things first I'd like to do the citric acid because it flies up first so it's a one part citric acid two parts baking soda I see what you mean by the dust mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I like to add my Epsom salts into my candlein clay cornstarch and cream of tartar because I like to get every bit of the ingredients that I possibly can and not waste anything. So these are all of your dry ingredients. Okay, so at this part be careful because <clears throat> it's gonna fly. It can become airborne. I normally do this with a mask, but it'd be hard to talk to you guys if I'm, you, you know, mask. if I have the mask on. So you want to mix in your dry ingredients, blend them very well. So, um, a thing about citric acid, it is found in almost every product that needs to maintain a shelf life. So you'll find citric acid in shampoo, You'll find it in soaps, you'll find it in ketchup, you'll find it in jelly. It preserves shelf life. It's a food grade product. Technically, if you wanted to eat a spoonful of this right now, you could. Hmm. I don't recommend no, it, you. but you could. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. I'll pass. Okay, and then um, your baking soda. You know, it's in many baked goods. Um, all natural. People use it for cleaning, for brushing teeth, for deodorant, for many things. Epsom salts are going to help with those achy muscles. And one reason that I really um, started this is because I have sickle cell. So sometimes when I'm not feeling well and I have achy body parts, arms, legs, I'll run a hot bath and it'll do the trick. So it helps. Finally, you're gonna add your oil. I have both coconut oil and shea butter oil in here so it's um, I like to put extra oil I've noticed that my customers like the extra mm -hmm. oil as well um, the original recipe only calls for half a teaspoon I do three heaping tablespoons <laughs> of oil you can use any oil you like your favorite oil so you got your dry ingredients now we're going to mix in our wet I feel like I'm baking a cake <laughs> the ingredients and get that all in there. You're going to notice your recipe is going to look like it's going to double. Okay, so once you have all the ingredients mixed, you should have the consistency of wet sand. And you know you have the consistency you need when you're able to ball it up and drop it and it doesn't break apart. So you want this not to break apart. And that means you're ready to start packing your mold. You can use any mold that you want to. You can use um, Tupperware, any, anything. Um, currently, uh, my favorite molds are these here, just a round sphere. There's, um, my products are six ounces, which you're not going to find everywhere. Most I'm seeing on the market are, are 4.5 ounces or less. Um, so this is a pretty large bath bomb. So you're going to pack one side nice and tight 
and you're going to gently crumble in and fill in the other side of the mold. Your helper's making a mess over here. Mm -hmm. It's all good. I'm like cleaning a mess. You're going to fill the other one into a nice mound. And then you're going to smash them together. You can use a Christmas ornament. You can use silicone molds. You can use whatever you like, whatever shape you desire. Just pack it in there nice and tight. And there you go. Wonderful. So you want to let this dry at least 24 hours cure so it gets hard. Um, these are going to be rock hard consistency. And it's just as simple as that. You um, make as many as you can until you run out of until you run out of your product. Great. And you have some here. Mango and this one is a men's fragrance. Black tie for men. And we're actually going to special guest that's here with us today that's actually going to demonstrate to everybody how the product actually works as if you're in the bathtub. Absolutely. So we're going to introduce our guest in just a moment. So we are back with our special guest in the station with us that's going to demonstrate how these bath buoys work. Crystal, introduce your special guest. This is my son. What's your name, baby? Zayden Ezra Sims Pill. All right. <laughs> Zayden. And so these are the molds that we are going to let cure overnight for about 24 hours. They're and gonna be, these are the ones we're going to use. Right. And those are the <laughs> ones that I made earlier that we're going to use. Which ones did you want to select, Zayda? I selected these ones. All right. Okay, so that's mango, mango papaya. And they're shaped in little flowers. Like I said, you can use any mold that you want. So just pack it tight and let it dry overnight. Thank there you, you go. So we're going to show everybody how that works by putting it in the water. As you can see, we just dropped the bath bomb in. It's in there. It's fizzing. It's going to completely dissolve. Can you smell the mango papaya? I can smell it, and the color is beautiful. Now, keep in mind, this color is a lot more concentrated because this isn't. Uh, uh, this is a lot less than a, than the bathtub, so it's a lot more concentrated. It looks just like a mango. <laughs> and smells beautiful too. Wish we had smell a vision for you. Well, Crystal, I appreciate you coming in today and dispelling myths, giving ingredients, and actually sh demonstrating how this product is made. Um, tell the listening audience how they can order this product from you. Okay, so currently I have a website. Um, it's bodybuoys.com. That's B O D Y B U O Y S.com. And you can check me out on Facebook as well, Body Buoys. And uh, you can order them online. Currently, I'm running a special for summer. I have citronella and uh, lemongrass, two essential oils that are known to repel mosquitoes. You're going to need that this summer, y'all. Yes. And um, also, I'm doing a, a special for men's fragrances for Father's Day. Wonderful. Well, again, thank you so much for coming in and demonstrating everything for us. Thank you for being my first guest on We Have the Business. We got the business. We got the business. <laughs> We're going to cut to a commercial, and we're going to be back to talk about the future of bath buoys. Chemistry Live, Houston's premier spot for nightlife. Number one for event planning, baby showers, bridal events, concerts, release parties, birthdays, and more. Book your special event today with hookah, special drinks, and bottle service available. For more information, 832-530-4255 or go to chemistrylive.com. Email us at chemistrylive at yahoo.com. Okay, so you started in December, made gifts for your family. Anybody in your family order from you today? Yes, they I, do. I have uh, friends and family that are, are consistent 
support and are always ordering. Wonderful. So you sell on a website. Yes. Um, you go to vendor showcases. That's how we met. Um, and you're constantly learning. I know that your designs have changed. Uh, your different molds that you use have changed. Um, is is this your only product that you're going to stick with, or are you are you trying to expand your business into another aspect of the health and wellness products? I'm playing with some recipes because. I feel I'm missing a market of people who shower only, um, but I do have some things to talk about some on that as well. Works. But I have some things in the works, um, exfoliating body butters, I'm working on some things like that, and eventually I think that I may branch into soaps, but right now it's strictly bath bombs. I really enjoy making them because soaps are mostly pour into the mold and that's pretty much it. Mm -hmm. Well with bath bombs there's a little bit more hands on with molding them. Right. So I, I just really enjoy it. It's, it's really a relaxing hobby turn business. So where would you say you will be or that you want to be in a year from now? In a year from now I, I'm not looking for anything to um, blow up you know in be some wealthy millionaire overnight. What I'd like to do is I'd like to continue to educate. I'd like to continue to build my solid um, customer base. I love doing vendor shows. They are so much fun. And um, I would like in a year from now, maybe two, I would like a, a storefront. A storefront would be awesome. I think the perfect location for you would be like a little small town atmosphere, a little storefront um, area for your, for your multiple products that I, I definitely see you having in the next year or two. So I'm excited to follow you, um, meeting you at a vendor showcase is how we originally met. Um, and I personally use your product and love it. So I'm really excited to have you on our first show. And, and, you, and when you get the rest of your products, then we'll definitely have you back so you can show your huge products to the world. Thank you so Thank much. You.